Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. As I always say, a platform where we speak nothing but reality itself, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you to those who are supporting us in our work. Uh, if you're watching this video, click the subscriber button, turn on the notification bell so that you are able to get our, our videos as we upload. Kakasungura took kwa ground to nafanya service to the community. For those of you who have had chance to go through what we are doing in the other YouTube channel, that is Brother Rogers. And if you could wish to join us in that channel, there is a link I've attached at the comment section. You can click that link and it will direct you to that YouTube channel. Tunatembea ground kusaidia wanyonge. Today, uh, kuna, mama, kuna mama moja mbae tulifanya story yake na tulirudi pale, tukampelekea mattress, tukampelekea maindi. Na vitu zingine. Thank you to those who supported and may God bless you so much. If you wish to join us, you can talk to me on WhatsApp 0700 You can WhatsApp or give me a direct call. If you love community work, we can do it together, ladies and gentlemen. Tuna idea what we are not here only for politics. As much as we speak politics on this platform, as much as tunazungumzia Ruto, as much as tunaelimisha tuna wa Kenya kuhusu siasa, pia tuko kwa ground kusaidia community. Kuna watu wengi hapa inje, my friend, wajivezi. Thank God wewe, unaeka chakula mezani na una mahali pa kulala. Kuna watu hapa inje wananyeshewa. Hawana hata chakula, my friend. Hile maisha iku hapa inje is very pathetic. But we thank God, mungu atatupatia nguvu. So that we conquer and help those who we can reach, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to join us, please do so. So that we move together. Ya unato nasema kaka o, kazi yake ni kukuja haba na kupika siya atu pigi siya sandu yangu. Eh, away from this platform, away from this camera, tuko pala inje tunafanyia mungu kazi. Now the Bible says the greatest service ni kusaidia the widows and the orphans na wala wajueze. That is the greatest gospel. Tati mutu anaweza kafanya kwa dunia hii. Sio kupeana nini zijui wati. Anyway, back to the Kenyan politics, ladies and gentlemen. Now, unajua, I have been telling you there is a miss in the newly elected form once. That is Ruto's cabinet. Fresh as who know nothing. Who are just yapping along the roads. They are making childish statements without even gauging the impact they have to the country and internationally. Yani mtu bora ameenda mkutano, anabweka, anabweka maneno, anabweka maneno. Huyo mtu, it, it, do these guys really listen to, some, to themselves before they speak? Hawa tu wanajisikiza kweli? Hawa masiasi hawa kiana mkuta. Do they listen to themselves? Yuzi, nimeona siyasi wa health. Hameamuka ameenda tieta na ofisi yake yote. Hawana hata, hata wajavaa mask. Hata wajavaa ni, yaani wako tu tieta na wanaongelesha madaktari, madaktari wanafanya sajaru, wanapika story. What kind of ignorance is this, ladies and gentlemen? These people needs to be taken to school and be taught on how ministries are run. Unajua, Moses Kuri, a minister, was tried. Yesterday, he made very dangerous remarks. Yes, and I must say, they were not deliberate remarks. Moses Kuria alizungumza because God pushed him to tell Kenyans that. Mungu wali musukuma kwambia wa Kenya ukweli. Mimi naona kuna vile mungu wanatumia wa Kenya kuambia hile maneno fiche ambao serikali inafanya inailenga kuumiza wananchi. Moses Kuria alikuwa na mkotano jana. Ame simama kwa pulpit. Mwana ume kamili. And made very very dangerous remarks to the Republic of Kenya. You know he is in government. He is a cabinet secretary. A representative of the president. So once a cabinet secretary speaks. Kenyans tunajua rais amezungumza. Because a CS is a representative of the president. Now, before I proceed, I want you to listen to Moses Kuria's sentiment yesterday. This is Moses Kuria's speech. You can see that 
even the rains that are going on are not to our satisfaction. We don't have good news uh, for our, what you call, MAM, March, April, May rains. As a government of Kenya, we cannot hide our heads in the side anymore. We have taken two deliberate steps. One is that we have so many things that can kill us in this country. Being in this country, you are a candidate for death. <laughs> and because there's so many things competing for death, there's nothing wrong with adding GMO to that list. <laughs> that is why we have deliberately decided to allow GMOs into this country. And the second thing is, until we are satisfied that we have enough maize in this country, our staple of food, tomorrow I'm signing a Gazette notice to allow for importation of, of up to 10 million bags of maize, duty-free, for the next six months until we achieve food security. Because that is our cardinal responsibility as government. I know this may offend some people, both from a GMO and from importation, but I will do this, and we will do this as government. Even if it's not, we, don't, we lose some votes here and there, but at least we will see the kingdom of heaven. Uh, now, from that speech, I have picked a few points which I'm going to explain to you what they mean. Now, we are mesikia, hayo maneno shio ya kaka sunguru. Kajua muna sema kaka wa ananeza propaganda. Wakati nilikuja haba nikafanya analysis ya jia mo wengi weni mulinitusi. Kaka unachukia serekali. Kaka o, oh, uwe unaneza propaganda. O, oh, uwe ni mtu ya zimio. Kwa hivyo, hata mose zikure ni mtu ya zimio. Iyo maneno mezungumza hapa, ni mtu ya zimio. Amesema vizuri kwa lugha inayoeleweka very clear precise to the point. Hmm. Amesema as a government we can no longer hide our heads in the sun. Hatuwezi tukanyamaza tena. That's what Moses Kuria said. Very clearly. Amesema as a government they have taken deliberate steps. Okay? Uh -huh. Now, Mesema, in this country, Kenya, we have so many things that, ki that can kill us. Very categorical. Very clear English. Very clear, underst understandable. Mm. We have so many things that can kill us in this country. He proceeded. And Mesema, being in this country, Kenya, you are a candidate for death. <laughs> I hold see yes speaking this hey Kweli na Mungu anachanganya watu God najua I have been reading your comments My fans nimekuwa nikisoma comments zenu wengi wanasema may God bring confusion to those people Mungu ameleta wamechanganyikiwa yote they are confused They don't know what they are speaking wamechanganyikiwa confused eh yeah. Najua wakati unaua mtu, unakuwa confused. Wakati unaibia mtu, you get confused. Wamechanganyikiwa. Mchanganyiko wa vitenzi na mnyambuliko wa maneno. So amesema, there are so many things that can kill us in this country. And when you are, in, when you are a Kenyan, it qualifies you to be a candidate for death. <laughs> Now, na amesema, You know, I don't want to misquote him. Because there are so many things that are competing with death in this country, there is nothing wrong in adding GMO to the list. <laughs> Ay. Because there are so many things competing for death in this country. So we, there is not, according to him, according to Kenya Kwanza, because there are so many things competing for death. Now, according to the saved government, according to the bishops in state house, according to evangelists and the prophets in state house, according to prayer warriors in state house, there is nothing wrong in adding GMO to the killer list. Hey, according to the choir soloists, according
according to worshippers in the state house according to the ministers of the world there is nothing wrong in adding gmo to the killer list that is killing kenyans because in this country you qualify to be a candidate for death <laughs> now me say now that is why you know because there are so many things in this country that can kill us there is nothing wrong in adding gmo that is why we have allowed gmo in this country ha ah, okay now wacha niwaambie wa kenya i can summarize the most curious speech to just a sentence kenyans you don't need any warning kenyans you don't need any signs to know the reality kenyans amuitaji maombi kujua ukweli na ukiritimba unaoendelea nchini you don't need rocket science to understand moses kuria has explained it precisely in a very short speech for you to understand gmo kills that's what moses kuria told us clearly gmo kills they have brought the gmo to kill kenyans that's what so mimi nimesema ndugu zangu ni moses kuria amesema wameleta GMO kuua wa Kenya simple he hey. huh. come if you are sitting and you want any signs wale wako tumeletewa kifo kwa mlango they have already hired GMO mind magunia mamilioni kifo imefika Kenya ni Moses kuri amesema he huh. wameenda wamebeba kifo wamewaletea wa Kenya ho oh. Hustle as you are on your own. May God see us through. Tumeleta wa sumu. Sio mimi nimesema, msisema kaka alisema, Moses Kuria amesema in person. Eh. As he has. Mtu wako kwa cabinet, mtu wako kwa serikali, wameamua sasa they, you know the last time I checked my dictionary. Deliberate means doing something intentionally you know the reality but you are doing it intentionally so moses kuria is telling us they know gmo is dangerous they know gmo kills but they have ignored and deliberately and intentionally decided to bring that poison and feed kenyans period mm habari ndio hiyo yule Mungu wa Kenya mnaomba amewapatia ukweli mahali huko. Wala mnaenda kanisani Mungu amewapatia ukweli. Is either you die or you flee this country. GMO imeingia kwa soko. Ha. Now, Raila Odinga at the rally somewhere spoke and warned this very categorically and said wameleta gmo in kenya there are there has been banned in other serious countries raila akasema gmo ni sumu watu mkamtukana raila aliwaambia gmo ina afya mimba watu mkamtukana raila alisema gmo ni sumu itawaua mkasema raila ni wazimu mkasema mzee nda nyumbani pumzika mzee ulishinda kura Eh hey, ni maombi sio uchawi moka mutoka na muzei eh hey, nini nini baba means well for this country baba loves his children baba loves kenyans na hawezi ona kitu kibaya anyamaze so baba spoke it and this is his sentiments isitoshe wanaleta sasa mbegu mpya inaitwa GMO Ge genetically modified Ogazum Hiyo GMO imekataliwa katika nchi mingi katika ulimwengu Ujerumani marufuku Ufaransa marufuku Italy marufuku Sweden marufuku Uholanzi marufuku Nchi mingi za Ulaya hata Japani ni marufuku Sasa wanaleta hapa Nasikia kanisa unasema tunataka kufanya utafiti. Utafiti gani utafanya hapa? 
kama nchi ya kisayansi ya Ujerumani imesema hiyo ni marufuku usafiri gani utafanya hapa Kenya hii hiyo GMO inajulikana kwamba inadhuru afya ya, ya watu wa mama wajawazito watakufa na hiyo hata watoto vile vile watakufa kwa tumbo yao ndio vizuri kwa hiyo tumesema mnaweza kufanya yote na, na vile chemukia za yenu lakini hapana fanya eh, experiment na maisha ya watu wa Kenya tumekataa sisi tumekataa nasema no to GMOs sema ni no to GMO no to GMO no to GMO wa Kenya watukufu mimi nimenao mikono kwa sababu siku ya kiyama nitasimama mbinguni katika kiti cha enzi mkono wa kulia nitakaboorishwa maswali nitasema Mungu wangu hata YouTube yangu na uangalia tu videos mimi nilionya hawa watu eh nitaambia na nitaenda na simu sijui kama mbinguni kutakuwa na free wifi nitaenda na simu nionyeshe Mungu nimwambie haki God eh angalia tu video ndio hizi ni waonye GMO wakakata ndio hii mali yako mimi nitaenda na simu yangu bora tu kukuwe na wifi nitaambia Mungu Mungu kalie ni waonya ni waonya ha mimi ni mwanao mikono mwanao mikono Mungu abariki asanteni sana kwa kunitazama